Hello guys and welcome to a new video. In this video I want to install macOS Sequoia on the 13 inch uh, MacBook Pro from uh, 2012. As you see we have a 2.5 GHz dual core Intel Core i5, 12 GB of uh, RAM memory and we have Intel HD graphics 4000. Let's start. First uh, we must uh, download the uh, Open Core Legacy Patcher. You can search on Google Open Core Legacy Patcher and we go on this uh, site. At this point, we select Getting Started and uh, we select Download and Build macOS Installer. And after that, click on Open Core Legacy Patcher Release Apps. And we have a 2.0.2 .2, and we scroll till we see open core legacy patcher GUI app zip and this one we must download from this site I already downloaded it and I will open it to see how can we create the macOS Sequoia installer on a USB stick I will open it open core legacy patcher. Be very patient because it will take some time uh, till the installer will be ready. I click open and I will insert my uh, key. Let's wait a little bit. And we have open core legacy patcher and we select from this uh, window the create a macOS installer. I don't have a macOS sequel. I will download it and I will select download macOS installer and just wait and we have a macOS Sequoia. I will click download and be very patient because uh, it will take some time until the download will be over. I may say that uh, we will need uh, to have a 32 gigs uh, USB stick because uh, 16 uh, it will not be enough. Be patient because uh, it will take some time. Please subscribe and support this channel. It will be very helpful. So the download is over and we must uh, wait uh, till the validating Messway installer it is done. When you made a fresh install or when you upgrade your OS, please back up all your data. It will take a few minutes till it's over. Be patient. At this point we have a pop-up window that uh, asks us uh, to create a macOS installer and we click yes and we select uh, install macOS Sequoia and we select our disk and we click yes for confirmation. Be very patient because it will take some time till the installer will be ready and written on your USB stick. At the end, I will tell you how long it will take uh, to create a USB a Mac OS uh, OIA installer on USB stick. So the whole process is over and we have a pop-up window that tells us uh, that it was successful. I will click yes. It took one hour to create a Mac OS installer on USB stick and I will click yes. And now uh, we are building uh, Open Core Legacy Patcher and I will install it to my USB stick. I will select my USB stick, be very careful, do not select uh, your internal hard drive or SSD. I will select my flash drive and I will select my EFI partition. 
and I will be patient uh, till will be over. And at this point we have a pop-up window and ask us to reboot. I will do that, but uh, I will not put the whole process uh, of installing macOS uh, Sequoia on this Mac because it will be a very long uh, video. But at the next restart we must uh, press and hold Alt key and select from the boot picker EFI and then select uh, macOS Sequoia installer. Do not select from boot picker macOS Sequoia directly. Select EFI and then select macOS Sequoia installer. The whole process should be automatic without your intervention except at the first boot when you must uh, press and hold Alt key. I upgraded my internal OS and we have a pop-up window that uh, tells us that we are booting from an external SSD. At this point I click OK and I will build and install Open Core. I install it on the disk. Be very careful because this time I will select my internal SSD and I will choose EFI and I will wait At this point I have another pop-up window that asks me to reboot, but I will click ignore. I will return to my menu, I will select settings and I will uncheck this box. This box unchecked, my MacBook will start normally without uh, showing uh, open core boot picker at the start. I will click return. And I will build and install again Open Core. I will install it on the disk. I will select my internal SSD and the FI drive. So the whole process is done and now I can reboot my MacBook and uh, will start normally. Thank you for watching this video and I will hope that it was useful to you.